Hola. Hola. Hola, hola, hola. I'm Erica. <laughs> and I'm Em. And this is the Shift Show. We're here with day 19. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay for us. Yay for us is right. And thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. And thank you for joining us on this journey. We're very grateful for you. Mm -hmm. And we are trusting that anybody on this journey is finding a great freedom whatever you are wanting yeah <laughs> whatever a miracle means to you yeah however small they may seem or however amazing and vast they may be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. today we experienced some major miracles Oh my goodness. We were on the ocean today with whales. So many whales. So many whales. Like five or six at a time dancing with each other. Yeah. They we were saw dancing their with each faces. Other. Yeah. They came out and said hi. Their like, eyeballs. Oh my gosh. And the most beautiful tails. And the flapping of the tails and the spraying of the water. Maybe some of the whale saliva. It was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. It was all it was so all awe inspiring. So amazing. Ooh. Amazing, amazing creatures. They are. So just grateful. like us. Yeah. Just like you. Just like you. Just like you. So I wanted to read a little bit of A Course in Miracles experiment because we talk about how this this is a spiritual text, but it's also neuroscience and quantum physics and um, manifestation, manifestation, law of attraction, like it's everything all in one. And Pam Grout writes about research in neuroplasticity shows our brains are constantly being rewired with new pathways forming and others falling dormant. At birth, our neurons have 70 500 connections and slowly over time these connections get pruned away and discarded so technically it's our thoughts or our beliefs that create our brains mm. and because our brains like cranky old uncles do not fit, <laughs> do not like to be wrong they literally make stuff up they construct reality to fit our uh -huh. beliefs creating patterns and filling in the blanks to reflect our dominant ideas wishes and emotions Hmm. Yeah, so this lesson, she says, we Just sincerely to ask... question everything. Yeah. That all lines of leftover, outmoded, no longer working code be eliminated until we see nothing but our new miracle plan. And today's lesson is more about unity and how we're all connected, which is why the cover photo is us with our heads together. Oh, oh. My <laughs> ring. That's where I hit my head on the golf cart Ay, lo siento. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> I am not alone in experiencing the effects of my thoughts. Yeah. I've, I've done the lesson once so far today. And so we are to do it three times. Eyes closed for a minute. Um, less if necessary. And I felt cozy in it. Even though some of the thoughts that came up felt kind of uncomfortable. Or maybe I would like label as negative or... Um, it felt cozy to know that we're not alone and that we're connected and also empowering cool because it's like a ripple effect right so yeah. like if you name thoughts you can free them mm -hmm. in some ways and just knowing that thoughts can be powerful and if you if we collectively can free our thoughts that are old stories mm -hmm. or if we can individually do it right the ripple effect is then inevitable we can, then we collectively can yeah. yeah which is really cool if we can question those stories of just proving because mm -hmm. that's old paradigm shiitake it's silly silly it's a whole proving thing yeah and we're here to create a new world a new earth yeah, which is what we're doing, mm -hmm. what we're being. Mm -hmm. um, again, the 
recommendation or the invitation is to not to have it as random as possible to not mm -hmm. give any weight to one thought or another or to uh, follow a theme just whatever pops in your head you will say close your eyes close your eyes i am not alone in experiencing the effect of this thought about blah i am not alone in the experiencing and the effects of blah i am not alone in the and do that for up to a minute three times and that's it welcome to the rewiring and the unlearning and the creating and okay. the creating oh i'm also i was i'm reading some of the course in miracles text mm. and one of the i highlight a couple of lines that really stand out to me if they do stand out to me and one of them was saying that um oh man something about like the disconnection between earth and heaven will go away and that they'll be the same oh i just read i'm reading a new earth and i just read this part that heaven the new heaven on earth is the inside and new earth a new a new heaven and a new earth and that the inside is always a representation of the outside and the outside is a representation of the inside and that when as human consciousness which is what it's doing is elevating expanding um, the physical realm which is the earth will reflect that expansion and that elevation cool yeah you're not alone in that thought i'm not alone in that thought <laughs> no alone in, in fact anybody that who's thought. here on this planet right now is connected to this thought in some way shape or form whether they are awakened to it or not mm -hmm. beautiful yeah okay thanks for being here till next time love you bye <laughs>